Adobe Reader is Adobe's official program for working with and editing PDF documents. It's a very comprehensive program, although many of its tools are only available in the paid version, which you have a chance to try for 30 days when you first download it. In this video, we will look at some of its editing tools so you can master the program and see all of the possibilities that it offers. The free Adobe Acrobat Reader includes options to add text so you can, for example, fill out forms. When you open the PDF document, you should go to the Fill and Sign tool. This tool not only allows you to add text where you want, but also easily check boxes and add circles, lines or pointers. You can place these wherever you want and resize them as you wish. You can also add digital signatures. One of the most powerful tools of Adobe Reader is converting PDF documents to Word, Excel, PowerPoint or many other document formats. To do this, open the document and click Export PDF. Next, choose the output file type you want and Adobe Reader will convert it to whatever you need. This is one of the most interesting tools of the paid Acrobat Reader. To delete, insert, extract, add or rotate pages in your PDF with Adobe Reader, you have to have a paid subscription or be using the 30-day trial. When you open the PDF document, you need to go to the Organize Pages tool. Rotating pages can be done from the document preview. To delete a page, select it and click Delete. To replace a specific page, select it and click Replace. Now you must choose which pages you want to replace. 2 to 4, for example, with page 2 from another document of a PDF format. If you want to remove pages, first select them and press Extract. You then have two choices. Remove and delete the pages or extract it to be saved in a separate file. If you select the second option, a PDF will automatically be created containing the pages. Inserting pages depends on what you want to insert. When you click on the tool, you'll see your options. Insert file from clipboard, scanner, web page, or include a blank page. If you choose to insert a page from a different file, you must decide the page that you want to add, then simply drag it to where you want it in the document. Remember, after all this, you must save your document to keep the changes. To add a bookmark in Adobe Reader, go to the Bookmark tab. Then select where you would like to put the marker and select Add New Marker. Once done, you can name it with something memorable. Then you have your marker created. You can only do this in the paid version, but do remember that 30-day trial. Another handy tool for Adobe Reader that's only available in the premium version is to modify text. If you want to change any text, you will need to use Reader's PDF Edit tool. When you open it, you'll see the text highlighted and you can begin to alter it as you would in any word processor program. To change the language of Adobe Reader, you must go to Edit. There, look for Preferences and click. When you find the language selection, you will see that you have three options. The current language, choose the language next time you start the program, or use the same language as the operating system. The fact is, if you have not previously installed the program in another language, these options don't do that much. Instead, we found that we had to go to the Windows Control Panel, uninstall Adobe Reader, and once it was gone, look for a version of Adobe Reader in the desired language. Once that's done, all you'll have to do to see it in the changed language is to restart. <laughs>